Okay. saw Can you give us some more details? A giant tacit discord with a scythe. It doesn't sound like the crownless. Might be even higher ranked. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The Samoru Sphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of Samoru Spheres. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated Samoru Sphere. But we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. Your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered once I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation, and they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place. I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. I'll also check the simulated sonorosphere again to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, all the data look quite good. But if you feel anything unusual, please come find me anytime. a researcher at the Huashu Academy. Let me witness where this encounter will take us. Today, what does our loyal client wish to inquire about today? Yeah. 
что то но May this journey bring us closer to the truth. You can count on me. I will be there for everyone. As we Yotan and I will ensure your safety. Here's your sundial, intact as it was. Mr. Mortify, can we have the test results? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scanned it, and there is a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. <laughs> We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. Automata mechanics isn't my field of study. I specialize in developing tacitite weapons. But the foundational theories behind these applied technologies are quite similar. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. Well, that's a no-brainer indeed. We could certainly give it a try. If you're fine with the paper scroll being destroyed by its protective mechanism, that is. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Hmm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well, since you've... Over. Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling... It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some space to concentrate. Rover, let's come back later, shall we? Hmm. Yes, of course. I've already noticed all that you mentioned. Indeed, you just pointed out a blind spot in my thinking. Your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet talking me. I get it. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll draw up a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Jiang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a box full of them. Division of labor is more efficient in getting things done. Besides, I would like to avoid stepping foot in Jiang Li's workshop ever again. The mere thought of that place brings me migraines.
This should be it. It's quite a box full. Let's go back and show it to Mr. Mortify. Coming up. Mr. Mortify, we found the parts. 
Good. Bring it to me. The test results are in. The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament, including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena. And the lament was the start of it all. As for the sugar pearl, it has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. A 20 year old vaccine. Hmm. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Mr. Mortify? The missing pointer has been installed. And now, the sundial should be complete. So, the discs are rotatable now? Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. Hold on. Remember when I said, don't force it open. Crank that thing another five degrees, and not even Zhang Li Yao will be able to save it. The earthly branches and four symbols. These symbols are related to the sexagenary cycle. It's an intricate way of recording time in Huanglong. Nowadays, it is mainly reserved for calendars, numerology, and indexing. But it's falling out of daily use now. What kind of information could it represent? It's the filing system. Most of Huang Long's libraries and databases still use this method to organize their archives, namely the grand libraries. Yes, the large data repositories located in Huanglong's major cities. The Academy's public archives are organized in this manner, too.
If I remember correctly, Genjo was established during a year of Wei, several cycles ago. The Genjo City Hall and Huashu Academy were built in the same year. The Gorges of Spirits can be formidable tacit discord described here. Let's look back on what we've gathered so far. Our clues point to the sugar mm, pearl as a key in solving the sundial's puzzle. Simply put, one token can lead to multiple Gen targets. Genshin cannot. One target may hold Genshin cannot. Pieces of information. We both had a reason for meeting. The magistrate had information to share, while I had questions to ask. However, her tokens contain both what she wants to tell me and what I want to ask her, making it seem like she is complicating matters. Or maybe she was running out of time. That's why she could only offer us scraps of the puzzle, instead of actually putting it together. Or perhaps she's indeed a master strategist, leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. The initial clues may simply be a test to... In other words, there are people who need to be misled. And they may obtain these tokens. It seems there may be hidden dangers lurking in Jinjo. Mm. If it were you, Yang Yang, what would you do to make sure the recipient gets what you mean? I would emphasize my true message by repeating it again and again. It's my bad news. I find what to send them. Get a new in disguise. I'm back! I'm back! Finally done with my patrol. How's it going, Rover? Feeling spry as ever? Baijin said he is in great health. No issues to report. We made some progress in investigating the tokens, too. Ah, nothing special. A typical patrol. Well, Uncle Chang's cat climbed a tree, and on its way down, it landed on Uncle Chumpy's head, causing him to take a tumble. Some dogs kept barking and have been scaring the passers-by, so I went there to calm them down. I received a report about someone going missing. I just logged the case and talked to the person who reported it. You're not the one they're searching for, though. Anyhow, I need to visit the person who reported the case tomorrow. Oh, I also tried searching for Rover's terminal number, but the system came up with nothing. The latest record was from today when I took Rover for registration. That's pretty much the update. You betcha. All right, I still owe you a meal. The night markets are closed, though. Let's grab breakfast at Panhua's restaurant tomorrow before my shift. Me time to hit the hay, obviously. Don't tell me you're planning on some nightly activities. Do you have a place to stay, Rover? Talk about hospitality! Boy, I wonder what it's like to live in the city hall. 
All right, enough chatter or the sun's gonna come up. Let's get Rover back to the city hall and we'll leave the rest till tomorrow. Mrs. Panwa, good morning. Three bowls of extra spicy noodles, please. What did I tell ya? Nothing beats a bowl of spicy noodles in the morning. What do you say, Rover? Looks like Bijer's locked herself in the lab again. Hasn't left since yesterday. But we won't see her until she's done with her research. No, wait. Since you're the subject of that research, we could use you as bait to lure her out. We can tie you up at the Academy's entrance, and with just a few tucks of the rope, I bet every researcher will come running at you with Bijer leading the pack. Hook, line, in sync in case of an emergency. Rover, roll out. By the way, now that we've figured out the sugar pearl and the sundial, What's left is that weird leaf and one of the mill mangosteen, right? So it only took us one trip to the academy to solve half of our problems. Either Rover's really smart, or Madam Magistrate was gonna make it easy for us to begin with. What's our next plan of action, Rover? As for the mangosteen, we got people selling these at the market nearby. We might find some clues there. Mangosteens are not from Jinjo. These fruits are usually brought in by boat. Should we start from the harbor? Do you think the token is guiding us outside the city? An ocean of stars, a dark-haired girl, an inverted etheric sea, and the resonance cord flowing from your tacit mark. And you said it was flowing in a certain direction, pointing to the gorges of spirits on the Norfolk Barrens. Hmm. You've never mentioned this before. The etheric sea and resonance cords in your dreams are real, possibly leading to the gorges of spirits and Norfolk barons. Perhaps it was more than just a dream. That girl might be the key to recovering your memories. Madam Magistrate's information aside, it seems to me your dream points toward the Norfolk Barrens. It's a site of the Thrinodian War and the source of all TD outbreaks. The Midnight Ranger's frontline space is stationed there as well. It's a no-go for me if you're leaving the city. My shift's coming up. Protect Rover well, and shoot me a message if you need anything, all right, Yang Yang? Without a doubt.
Let's do this another way. Miscalculation. Administering first aid. advised. Reverberation. You're wide open, but stop. <laughs> Tell truth from facade. can boost our combat abilities with special items. Our, if you feel like it, head to Instructor Yan at the training. Yan Yan, did you hear that? I, is that someone crying and wailing? That should be the Midnight Ranges training camp. Instructor Yan is in charge of training new recruits. I heard he's pretty tough, but I... Catch up! <laughs> 